I'll make a quick video and show you how I have to back into where my alpine is at. And as you can see uh, on our rural street, the street is not very wide and you can see the neighbor's driveway is right across the street. And uh, you can see that it's a 90 degree uh, back end that I have to uh, have to get this alpine in here. I don't back in uh, at uh, a sharp 90 degree angle to get the alpine in here. But what I do is I come down this street from the direction looking forward, hugging the right hand side of this street right up against my driveway. And as the rear end of the alpine just starts to pass uh, this RV pad spot, I then swoop the truck out over in this direction, which puts the ass end of the Alpine already pointed pretty much at a good uh, angle towards where I have to back in. So uh, this is a technique that uh, if you learn how to do it, you'll never back in at much more than a 30 to 40 degree angle when you're backing that fifth wheel in. And also you want to go nice and slow and take it easy on your tires and your suspension because uh, as you start backing at sharper angles, you're forcing those axles to take a lot of stress and side load. And in turn, that puts uh, all of that stress and side load uh, on your suspension and on that uh, uh, lippered frame and the spring hangers and everything. So maybe that might help folks out a little bit.